Hello, my name is Gary Britland. I'm at Church Bank Mill, and this is the entrance which was uh, to the mill. Uh, this is an unadopted road, as you can see, it's still a cobbled road partly, so the family still own it. Uh, the site was first owned by the Peels in 1772 in Edmund Peel. The business was Howarth Peel and Yates. They first started at Brookside Mill Oddle Twistle and then they came here because of the water supply, because of the River Hybrid, which snakes around the church bank area. Um, they were the first in 1785 to do machine printing in the area and then in 1801 they were the first to do steam power printing. So the Peel family had a big influence in this area. After they left, uh, Steiner then bought off, bought uh, all the property off them and then must have extended the site and that's why we've got this gatehouse we can see now. Uh, this gatehouse was to the mansion, there was a mansion just further down in the park, we called it Park Drive at the time. Uh, it's, no, it's not there now, it's demolished, it's all residential. Uh, and Steiner's, uh, it was probably his daughter who probably lived there because Steiner lived on Hyman Road in Hyman House uh, but it's probably his daughter lived in the mansion just down here and this was all the Peels uh, and the Steiners bought it off them uh, and it was all surrounded with the perimeter wall the perimeter wall goes all the way around still today there's about 80% of it still standing just snakes around it goes right all the way up to Duncan House and the mill site just behind me had a chimney, a reservoir, uh, so they were right next to their empire, uh, which they were pr calico printing, uh, and that was the wealth. Uh, but now, sadly, there's only this watch house that's left, gatehouse, uh, and some gates, and a bit of a perimeter wall. Thank you.